Hello, everybody. Today, I'll talk to you about Harness's approach towards modernizing your Jenkins real estate. Jenkins has been around for a very long time, and we understand that companies have been using it for 10 plus years. So what we've learned from our customers is like modernizing from Jenkins to any other net new tool is not just migrating your pipelines, but also having some change management process in place to move your developers from uh, Jenkins to Harness. In this specific video, I'll be covering a patented technology that we have built which will help us identify your Groovy pipelines and we'll see how to modernize them into Harness. Uh, so what I have over here is I have installed a Harness migration plugin. So this is a plugin that sits in your Jenkins instance and the plugin will take in inputs, which is your Harness account, Harness project essentially. So when the pipelines are created, they can be created in the Harness account. After you've sort of done this configuration, We'll now see a real example of how do you take an open source repository, which is like Zoom. This is a very popular open source repository in the Apache ecosystem. And over here we have this pipeline Zool running in Jenkins. It takes about like eight minutes. And you can see like we've had a lot of executions for this specific pipeline. The pipeline in for Jenkins does a lot of things. So First and foremost, like, you know, using shared libraries is a very common pattern where you have some re reusable logic in Jenkins, which is stored in a shared code base. So in this case, it's called build utils, which is setting in a GitHub repository outside of your source repository. So this is a very common pattern that we've seen in Jenkins, where customers would then have their uh, build and test scripts or some other scripts in, in shared libraries. And this pipeline sort of covers all of the basic constructs, like where you can use environment variables, uh, you're using constructs around parallelism, plugins. And what we'll show over here, essentially the painted technology that we have built is not able to, is, is able to understand all of these like Jenkins constructs around shared libraries, environment variables. And then uh, it'll also modernize these constructs as we bring them into harness itself. So what I'll do over here is I'll walk you through how do you upgrade this pipeline from Jenkins to Harness. Uh, and so what I'll do in this case is I'll go to this Zool instance and I'll click this upgrade to Harness button, which will generate a Harness pipeline where it has taken all those Jenkins constructs and modernized them into Harness constructs. So we'll click this upgrade to Harness button which will create a pipeline in Harness with all of these modernized concepts. So here I can click view in Harness. And again, it's using the credentials that were shown in the, stored in the Harness migration plugin. And if you look at this pipeline, you'll see over here that, you know, it's using all of the Harness intelligence features out of the box, which will help you reduce your build time. And these are optimizations that were not available in, in Jenkins. You can also run this pipeline in any infrastructure. You can use Harness hosted infrastructure, or you can self-host in Kubernetes or your VM runners in Linux, Mac, and Windows. So you basically have full support of what you had in Jenkins and more with Harness. And if you look at the execution steps, this is where we started to modernize the pipeline from Jenkins to Harness. So we were able to understand all of the shared library constructs that were being used. And then we were also able to replace some of the build and test features with harness optimized features as well. So we're using build intelligence for Gradle commands. We're also using test intelligence where it'll select a subset of tests based on the code that was changed. We're also doing with out of the box build and push steps and also enabling Docker caching, which will sort of you know further optimize your build times as well. And one of the key things that you have to do as part of this migration process is you know, we care a lot about security. So we want to make sure that you authenticate with your source code repositories and your sort of Docker Hub credentials. So before you can run the pipeline, there'll be some work to configure these endpoints so that you can use your own credentials for source code, any other artifact provider and stuff. And this is a one-time change that you'll have to do and you can templatize all of this as well. So I'll go ahead and save this pipeline and I'll pick run. Uh, in this case, I'll just select the master branch for the specific pipeline. And then I'll also select my Docker Hub credentials. And again, this is the this is your credentials for your system so that you'll have to configure it once. And then I can go ahead and run the pipeline. <laughs> and what happens in this case now is this pipeline is going to start executing and it's going to sort of execute through all of the steps which were configured in this pipeline. And then we wait, wait, wait. So now this pipeline has finished executing. You can notice that this pipeline took about 
three and a half minutes, where if you go back to the pipeline in Jenkins, it took about eight minutes. And the pipeline over here has the exact same set of steps, but they have been modernized by harness out of the box steps as well as functionality. So cache intelligence is where it's use is caching package dependencies. Build intelligence is where harness is caching build tasks from your build tools like Gradle, Basil, Maven. And then test intelligence is selecting a subset of tests based on the code that was changed. So a combination of all of these features and out of the box functionality with Harness allows you to optimize these pipelines. And this pipeline we saw, you know, you, there was a visual element to it, but it also has a YAML file, which is the same YAML file, which we saw during the modernization process. And again, it has all of these steps, step groups and optimizations are sort of done for you out of the box itself. So we've sort of now, as part of this modernization approach, we have taken all of the Jenkins constructs, which are like shared libraries, environment variables, plugins, parallel steps, parallel stages, conditions, and then we've modernized them into Harness. And because Harness has all of these optimizations features turned on by default, then the pipelines are much more faster. So it's now taking about three minutes for execution and then about where it took about eight minutes in, in Jenkins. I'll switch to a different pattern where what we saw over here is how do you migrate one pipeline to from one pipeline in Jenkins to one pipeline in Harness. But what we have seen with a lot of our customers is at an enterprise scale, you probably have around tens of thousands of Jenkins pipelines. And then Harness allows you to build templates at a stage or a step level, which essentially allows you to have a standardized way to do builds and deployments across the entire organization. And then you can also use these for reusability so that you know there's no duplicated pipelines and then there's a single governance model that you can enforce in the organization. So what I'm showing you over here is a pipeline that was migrated one-to-one. -one. So one step in Jenkins got converted to one step in Harness. And then we have an approach where we would create templates out of this. So as you can see, this pipeline is sort of fairly, very big. But once we create templates or reusable components out of it, this becomes very small. And you can see like these are the step and step group templates that we have created. So this is a way for us to what we say, like, you know, reduce pipeline sprawl and modernize your Jenkins pipelines into harness. So when you get your Jenkins pipelines into harness, you will not have 10,000 pipelines. You probably have like, you know, five to 10 different template patterns that you can have through the organization. And these templates are dynamic. So you can imagine a scenario where there's a Java template and you want to customize the Maven version that you're using, or there's a Node template and you want to customize the Node version that you're using. So it gives you a flexibility to make these very dynamic, essentially. And that's how you can scale out these templates to a larger set of pipelines, essentially. And that's what essentially we've seen a lot of customers, you know, accelerate their modernization journey as they move from Jenkins to Harness. And then lastly, what I wanted to show you was like, this was what we showed in the demo was a basic uh, sort of CI CD pipeline, but in Harness, since it's a modular platform, you can also expand and cover your entire SDLC, like all the way from code to deployment to security as well. And so this is how you can start to sort of now get exponential benefits out of the Harness platform as you start to modernize your journey from Jenkins to Harness.